All right, I'm going to go ahead and talk about what I do with my background vocals. I try to keep all my effects with my background vocals similar or identical to what I do with my lead vocals. So we'll hit the mix button over here, select my background vocals, right click, send them to a bus. We'll go ahead and just listen here so you can hear the background vocals. So you can hear there's some fading things and some cleaning up that we need to do, and we'll do that later on in the mixing process. But you get an idea of what they sound like. I'm going to go ahead and name the channel, call it Background Vocals. All right, so now that we got it named, I'm going to go ahead and start adding the effects. And again, I'm using the exact same plugins that I used on my lead vocals, just slightly different settings within them. So to save a little bit of time, I'm going to drag them from my lead vocals over here. It copies them. My DS, I'll just keep roughly the same as what I had before. No real reason to change it. Go ahead and add the ambient vocal. One thing I like to do on my background vocals, though, is I like to up the wetness just to kind of help them blend in a little bit. Again, that's something I do, and it just seems to make a little bit of a difference. We'll add the 90s vocals, and again, I'll just up the echo ever so much. Not too much, but just to help it kind of blend the background vocals. Then finally, we'll pick the airy vocals. And again, I just leave them at zero. And whatever tune track is done behind the scenes, I really like the way it makes my vocals sound. So we'll just leave it right there. We'll go back and listen to the vocals here. Just wanna call on you for everything. Without effect. That you do. I just wanna call on you. For everything, baby, that you do, yeah. I'll go ahead and let you hear them just soloed so you can hear the effects coming on and off. Again, you're going to hear a little bit of popping as I turn the effect on and off, but you get an idea of how it brings out the background vocals and makes them match the lead vocal. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and select my background vocals and my lead vocals, and I'm going to let you hear what it sounds like with effect and without effect. It's about these feelings that are so strong, yeah. I just want to call on. You get an idea, it helps it really pop out of the mix a little bit, add some effects, and just overall makes it sound really good with very little editing on my side. Tune Track does so much behind the scenes, it just makes it really fun to work with when I'm editing vocals.